Hi everyone, it's Friday the 25th of September and it's 7.40 in the evening according to my clock up there. Right, I've got quite a lot to get through in this video. I do apologise for any wind in the background. We've got gale force winds out there. Or should that be storm force winds now? We don't seem to use the word gale. Anyway, bottom line is it's windy and wet and horrible out there and it's been like that all day. So, in this video I've got uh, a whole flap that I want to uh, show you because it's all changed for the better. A lot of improvements, a lot of cleaning has been done. It wasn't by me, but because I'm under an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, I can't tell you what it was all in aid of. Um, all I can say is it will be on TV in January 2021. It's when my episode airs. So as soon as the episode airs, I can explain everything. But I've got to wait until then. Otherwise I can get into deep do and I don't really want to get into deep do -da. So uh, anyway, I will show you what the flat is like now. I need to run around with the vacuum cleaner again. And all of the stuff that went on in the flat happened about a week and a half ago ish anyway i thought first we'll get this lot out of the way so got off to some more computer items as you can see i've got two of these rm all-in-ones so add the one that i've already got which is behind me here on the floor <laughs> uh, i've now got three Four laptops, a Hi8 Samsung uh, camcorder. It's got digital on it, but that's a digital signal processor. Uh, and a few other bits and bobs. There's actually two boxes down in my shed. One, actually I've got rid of one box because it got soaking wet. One was full of laptop batteries, and I had a few other knickknacks in, which I took out and more up here because batteries are boring and the other one was just full of a lot more um, laptop power supplies which in fact I've got a bucket full the guy might want the bucket back but yeah I've got a bucket full of them here as well there was also a bunch of other um, various cables in the box downstairs as well it doesn't look like I've got any power leads in there so I might have to grab that box down from up there. Anyway, I want to know if this lot works, but first we'll go through and just see what we've got. Apparently it does work. I've actually tried the camera. This does in fact work. It's all charged. Came with the charger, came with a manual, and it came with the carry bag. So it's actually got a Sony this is how I know it's a Hi8 camera. A Sony Hi8 tape in it. This is actually bigger. I've got a camcorder somewhere. Can't remember where it is, but I have got another Samson as well, I believe, camcorder. Um, with tapes and a charger somewhere. Like I said, I've got it all somewhere. Um, but it's not the same as this, and the tape is actually smaller. So, yeah, this works. I've actually had it all turned on and recorded a few seconds and whatnot. I don't actually know why I included that because I could have said no to a lot of this but I just thought that would be a funky little camera to have. Anyway, saw this which might come in handy in the lounge depending on how I want to set things up in there. If not I can just chuck it straight in the bin. So for now I will keep that bracket Of USB mice. That one rattles, so I don't know if it's going to be any good. Got this old video card. All of mine got boxed up and I haven't found them yet. <laughs> no idea where they are. Oh, this has got a name on it, is it? Perix? I don't know. That looks like that's you know a laptop mouse because it's quite small. I know the ones they. 
I know they used to make smaller mice like this specifically to go in your laptop bag, but I don't know if that's a thing now. Uh, power adapter, I have no idea what this is for. Not yet. It's uh, looks like it's a 12 volt adapter. Now this, I have no idea what this is because I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Let me just pull my screen out on the camera so I can actually see what I'm doing. All I saw was cable and headphones. So what is this? Oh, it's a little um, pinky little radio with batteries. Ooh. So power light came on. I'll show you the power light came on. Little LED. Let's just plug the phones in. Let's just double up as the antenna as well. To see if I've got any sound. I've actually got music. Hmm. That's actually not bad. I've had a lot of these dinky little radios before. And the signal is always crap because every time you move them, you, you lose signal. That is actually pretty good. That's why I was waving it around, by the way. Right, that can go in the bin. Don't let me forget that fell down there. So, the laptops. This one's a Windows XP one, or at least that's what the COA is on the bottom. What adapter do I need? I might just get that tub down from up there. Instead of use that bucket, because I have no idea the condition of those. Right, so we need a 19 volt. 3.16 amp adapter for that one. We've got an MSI laptop with a Windows Vista sticker on the bottom. Like I said, these are all said to be working. We have got this nice looking Toshiba and another Toshiba here. Right, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to smash things because I'm a clumsy git. I think these Toshiba should be 19 volt. Oh, this one's 15 volt. What's this one then? This one's 19 volt. I'm going to have a check that. Oh, I don't want to get that down. It's big and heavy. Well, not really big. Just freaking heavy. I was actually in the outside closet the other day sorting that out and uh, forgot I had a big blue tub of laptop adapters as well. I'm pretty certain I've got some down in the shed. So I think that's the next thing to go through and toss a whole bunch out. What's this one? That's a 19 volt. And I'm going to presume the other two are 19. But the question is. Does it fit? We might have to find epoxy. It does. But the other question is, is it going to work? Because I've actually found out just because that plug fits the socket doesn't mean it's going to make connection. Found that out several times. Which is one reason I keep so many different power adapters. What I am going to do is move this over to the cooker for now. And I need a clover leaf power cable. No, nope, that's a kettle lead. I've got lots of kettle leads on here. One clover leaf found. So as I've got a 19 volt one here. I was gonna say you may have noticed that the fridge freezer's moved, but you can't actually see it from where you are. It has moved. I decided to move it out of the kitchen. Alright, we've got power. That's a good thing. It's still pissing it down with rain outside because I can hear it in the background. Let's plug that in. I'm not seeing any light. Oh, we have lights. 
we have lights. That's always a good sign. We have power. But you see, define working. Do you think it actually boots into Windows and is fully usable? Or do they mean it just posts like this? What's it doing? As far as it's gonna go? No. Media test failure due to no bootable device. Insert a boot. Ah, so there's either no hard drive or it's faulty. Should have a screwdriver on here so I could check that later, but let's just stuff that down here. That's a 15 volt one, isn't it? This one's a 19, I believe. seeing any lights yet unless they're hidden. Oh, we've got a nice big blue one at the front. Oh, very nice. And I admit that's a pain in the ass to open apparently. Touch sensitive button. I didn't feel it. Click. MSI Megabook. Copyright 1997 to 2000. Intel Corporation. 2001-2005 NVIDIA Corporation. I'm guessing this is doing the same thing. We've got all the MSI sticker gumph on here. We've got DDR2, dual channel RAM, SATA hard drive, 4-in-1 card reader. Uh, a 103 keyboard. 802.11 wireless. Okay, so there's no boot disconnect either, but it does work. I actually quite like this one. I want to know what the maximum RAM and everything is on that one. Right. We'll plug them in this one next. Blink. Not a perfect fit. How about that? Get out of it. Right, we've got a charging light on. It's powered on. I've got no reason to believe them. The other one don't work, so I bet there's no hard drives in this. In these, then. Ooh! This one actually boots. Whilst doing that, I'm going to be off camera because I'm looking for a um, 15 volt Toshiba adapter, which I know I've got in here. And it's uh, likely going to be buried. Let's get the cables off to one side. You'll let me know when I spoon it into Windows, won't you? You can see that I can't. Unfortunately, I don't have eyes in the back of my head. And naturally, I can't find the piston of that that I want. No, they're emptying the... Ah! Is that one? No. I have two or three power adapters with Toshiba actually written on them. This one. <laughs> there we go. Ah, is that crashed? No. Nope. <laughs> Must have sent the magic word. Right, I need a snake eyes cable for that one. Also known as a figure eight. Do going through this box over here the power adapters and perhaps removing. Um, the power cables. That might make life a smidge easier. Wow. Ooh. 
It's got audio and everything. <laughs> Windows XP end of support is on April 8th, 2014. I know it cannot display the web page because we're not connected. Okay, so clicking on the actual mouse pad doesn't work. I've got to use a button. And that fan kicking in and out like that regularly is doing my editing. Ooh. Not seeing any personal info of a BT broadband, blah blah blah. I'm not gonna go digging around. could be something in the documents. If you're wondering what this one is, it's an NEC Versa C160. With an AMD Athlon processor. Oh, that's what we'll do just before we uh, shut it down. We'll see uh, what the specs are of it, shall we? When it loads. To be honest, speed-wise, it's not too bad. I was expecting a little torch to come up, you know, doing that back and forth motion, and it didn't. So, we've got 1.21 gigabytes of RAM, and it's a mobile AMD Athlon XP-M 2200+. Plus. But that actually doesn't tell me the clock speed of it. I could find out because I could put CPU ID on here. Or CPU Z, whatever they call it. I can't remember. Uh, what sort of hard drive have we got on here? We have got. It looks like it's coming up with a 35.2 gigabyte. Uh, 11.4 gigabytes used and 23.7 gigabytes free. Yeah, about average for the time, I suppose. 35 gigs seem like an odd measurement to me, though. It doesn't work really well, to be honest. Usually when I power on an old Windows XP machine like this, they're slow as hell. That's actually pretty quick and boots pretty quick for something its age. You know, it's nothing compared to my daily runner in the uh, lounge. Come on, shut down. Piss off. Go away. Brilliant. Don't have to do anything with that one. Maybe see if I can adjust it so. Um, So um, the mouse pad acts as a mouse click, so I don't have to keep using the buttons. Not that that really matters, because it's not going to be used really. That will be added, because I do like that one. I will add that one to my collection. That plugged in there stupidly easily. Battery light is on. That's good. And we have power then. The next question is, where's that? Oh, there is. Where have had laptops similar to this before? Maybe even this model, I don't know, but I've had some similar ones to this. Actually, I think this panel here was silver as well on one of the ones I've had. Okay. CMOS batteries must be dead as it's coming up with a CMOS error. Check sun is bad. Just no default. I'll now reboot, loading the defaults into the uh, BIOS, and don't tell me, what do you reckon? Will it boot or will it not? Place your bets now. Or is it going to blue screen? <laughs> Sometimes, if you suddenly turn these computers off, or pull the power out, you know, as in they don't shut down properly or you shut them down while they're booting like that, it'll next time come up with that screen. And a lot of the time, 
as long as there is no actual fault, they will just boot, just like this one. We've got a Windows Vista sticker on it, so is this a Windows Vista machine or Windows 7? I think that's a 7 looking at that style. Windows 7 Ultimate this has been upgraded to. Sweet! I'm curious to know if these RMs have got hard drives and things in, because I've got two out of two laptops that actually boot into Windows. Ha! It's not a genuine copy of it though. <laughs> Naughty. If you're going to put a non-genuine copy of Windows on it, at least make sure it's cracked properly. Not that I know anything about that. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, this looks like an absolute fresh install. My arm is charging. Hard drive's pretty quiet. I'm not seeing no action from the hard drive light, or a little bit. Alright then, let's go into control panel and see what this thing's got to offer. And we'll see what the hard drive is. Oh, I hate that view. I like that one. Right, so what we got on this puppy? For some reason we've only got a gig and a half of RAM. It's a 64-bit operating system with an Intel Core CPU T5200 at 1.6 GHz. Not brilliant. My lights just flickered. <laughs> oh Lord, don't tell me I'm going to get a power cut. Three days until automatic activation. Activate Windows now. No. I'll revamp this and redo everything myself, but first I want to know what hard drive I've got on it. It's a 100 gig drive according to this. 94.6 gigabytes free of 104 gigs. Mm, not bad little brushing them. Well, I'm happy with that. In case you're curious, I paid a hundred. Well, I owe him a hundred for all of this. And to get two fully working laptops that actually boot, that's a, a bargain in my book. I bet I can only put up to two gigabytes of RAM on this thing though. Because I bet that's all that can handle. I find that a lot with Windows Vista era laptops. You can come and get your dinner if you want, Nemo. It's only down here. Okie dokie. I don't need these now. Two more tests and then we can uh, have a little tour of the flat. Right. I need a cat lead now, don't I? Cat lead. Keyboard, possibly, in case they do boot up. And a mouse. And I keep standing with bits of cat litter because I've got the most tray in here now. So, we'll find out if this uh, mouse works. And, uh, I think I was actually going to throw this keyboard out because of that, but... Quite a thin, easily to move one, so I need to find a better home for that. This bright green RM logo on the back. Oh, Nemo's disappeared. Right, where's the power? Got some cobwebs in the back here. I've noticed as well that the back panel in here is missing, just like it was on my other one. It's plugged in, power's on. It's got a switch on the power supply. <laughs> no bang, so that's a good thing. Let's uh, 
We don't have front USB on this, do we? Because I'll cheat and do that, it's going to be easier. Perhaps I should just throw out all my keyboards and just use my wireless one for this and invest in another wireless mouse and just use those. Right. Power. That's power for the monitor, I think. And power for the PC. RM1 Eco Quad. I wonder what sort of a business would have used these. Holy crap, it's got Windows installed on it. Windows 7 from the looks of it. I'm sure that's what I put on my one down there. Two issues with my one down there, which is why I want to keep these two as they are working. So I want to try and upgrade one to Windows 10. <laughs> nope, need the password. Mouse now working, but never mind. Okay, nothing seems to work now. Or not. Volume control there for fun audio. I'm going to shut it down. Yeah, two issues with the one on the floor that I've got with the uh, Mega Hall. Um, maybe the mouse crashed it, I don't know. There's a bit of foam hanging up here, getting in the way, and the CD-ROM drive is stuck. I mean, I can fix it. I can put another CD-ROM drive in it. But I don't know if that's actually worth it, because I don't know if you could sell something like this. And if I could, not for a lot, I don't. I might be able to upgrade it as it is and put Windows 10 on it and see if I can sort out the uh, two issues. Two lots. That's a lot of weight in one of them. You wouldn't have thought it with a small all-in-one like that, but yeah, they, they're pretty heavy. Oh, right. Next one. Is it going to go bang or is it going to work? It's having... So it's got Windows 7. See our way on it. Right. I'm not going to put that mouse in. So you've got a far wire on the front. Turn on, turn on. Beep. I'm going to have to reinstall Windows on unless I can find a way around the uh, password. In fact, my brother does know how to do that, so I might ask him. Okay. Must have been searching for the boot devices, hence the little cursor. Is that my spotlights flickering or is that the ceiling light flickering as well? Someone keep flickering in here. I do hope this isn't another bloody password protected one. Is that little mouse? I might, uh, Plug that one in and see if this one does anything. I'm not so sure because I've got a quite a row. Ooh. <laughs> Must have been an update ready when this was last shut down. This boots into Windows and I'll try both these mice and if this one don't work I'll just go straight in the bin. I ain't got time for keeping crap nowadays. In fact, I am near enough. 
so I'm near enough done with this lot. Really I should just keep two power adapters out, shouldn't I? Like the Toshiba one. And I should have one here yet yeah, with a cable plugged in there. I'll keep those down, the rest can go back up on the cabinet. Are we done yet? Only 6%. I might leave that to do its thing and uh, take you on a tour of the flat and uh, at least tell you what I can tell you. Like I said, it's not a great thing. Diet. 9%. Right. I'm going to pause you. We'll let this do its thing. Now what I should have said is, I'll pause you, take you off the tripod, we'll let that do its thing, and go on a tour of the flat. <laughs> anyway. Not the tripod out of the way. So, kitchen's looking a lot better. Look at this. A bit of floor to clean down there, but I can do that in a little while. Cupboard's clean. I'm putting the door back on. And that's had a complete clean out as well. The power supplies are all downstairs in the uh, brick shed. There we go, look at this. Fruit. I'm not a fruit person, so... Oh, pardon me. Here we go. And Mum's bought me a couple of new bins as my ones uh, felt bits. I did get a few years use out of them though, to be honest. And I didn't get them new either. Mum changed hers and I had those two. Okay, so here's the bedroom. I've got some stuff that I want to put up for sale, such as this uh, My Little Pony merchandise and whatnot. And I've got some in a the bag there. And whatever doesn't sell will go to charity, so... Win-win, I hope. <laughs> the bed. It's pretty much the only change in this room. It got turned round. That got turned round and this whole table got shunted that way and that's it. Nothing else changed. So I need to get those out of there and put back up there but I can't do that because I've got that lot in the corner. Oy. I feel up to it. I'll take some pictures tonight and get them up. That carrier bag is rubbish. I haven't decided what I want to do with that yet. That's from the last haul. I'm going to sell one of my Xboxes, but again, I don't know which one. I have to plug them in, see which one... Well, actually, I know both work, or they both worked last time I plugged them in, but I will double-check them and keep at least one and sell one. I'm trying to downsize. There's the fridge-freezer up the corner, hence why Nemo's tray is in the kitchen now. Uh bathroom's all spotless two more cones from a fellow collector there's the bag for the camera and here's what it looks like in here looks a bit more uh, homely doesn't it without all the lego everywhere no I've not sold the lego I've not got rid of it I still have it it's just not here it's in safe storage at mum's for the time being uh, <laughs> I sort of want it back here, but I don't because I do love the flat as it is at the minute. I think uh, the way the flat was before is, was adding to my depression. So this place never felt like a home. It just felt like a... Like I was sleeping in a hobby room, you know, in a hobby shed or something. I've got a nice sofa there. I keep meaning to put those cuddlies in the bedroom where they're meant to be. An old kettle there, that's got to go in the bin. But here, what I actually want to do is uh, put a TV on here, connect up the consoles. And I've got a DVD player and whatnot that I could sit on these shelves as well. And uh, have something set up in here, because for now, I don't plan to put any Lego tables in here. 
I'm going to still buy Lego and collect Lego sets and whatnot and display it, but that's about as far as it's going to go. Reason for that, I actually start to feel, and I don't think I wanted to admit this at the time, but I think I allowed that hobby to overwhelm me. It was just too much in here, you know. So, all the tables that I'd rebuilt to go around the edge of the room, they all got ripped out and it was all turned into this. Uh, like I said, I can't go into details though. But, I'm really pleased. I do need to go around with a vacuum cleaner because where I've been sorting out boxes, because a lot of my stuff got boxed for this project and I've been going through the boxes throwing out a load of stuff and if I haven't thrown it out it's gone to one side to be donated to charity or it's been sold um, one of my record players I actually sold tonight the one with the Wharfdale speakers you know, I think I should have kept the Wharfdale speakers but never mind that's sold tonight so I've got a bit of space now in here I've still got the one I bought a couple of months ago I think that's a Philips one where I need to do the pinch roller on the tape deck and just adjust the uh, turntable speed. What? Uh, and anything that could either go out in the outside cupboard or down in the brick shed is either going or has gone. I've actually got a box here full of like, I suppose you'd call it hardware, fixings and things, some screws, some wall plugs, brass hooks, brackets and things like this I've got this box I'm going to go and tuck that down in the shed as well I haven't taken it down yet because I've still been finding things to throw in there but I just thought that sort of stuff would be better down in the shed oh, sorry shaky the cameraman in action right I've then got this big box of computer bits here that I no longer want I went through everything that was boxed up and they boxed up my floppy disk drives all my cd-rom drives actually no they didn't box up the cd-rom drives because they were in the cupboard in the bedroom um i just had too many and the only reason i was keeping them was because they would be useful for spares but like i didn't need 20 plus floppy disk drives as spare you know and i didn't need as many card readers as i had for spares because a lot of my computers that I've built for my collection actually have a card reader on them uh, so I didn't really need that many but I'm going to try and give this lot away I'm going to put it on Facebook Marketplace as free there's even some power supplies in the bottom they're not high wattage or anything they may not be any use to anyone but what I might do, once I've got that computer put somewhere out of the way, is just tidily stack everything in its box along there and take a photo of it and just say free. Either take the lot or just take what you want, you know. Whatever's not taking will just... taking? Taken, rather. Will just be binned. Not just go down the dump, so... If I can, you know, help someone out that may want something for an old computer, you never know. Uh, well, I want, might want to take it for a car boot next year, you know, car boot stock, I can do what I like with it. I just want the box out of my way. There might even be a few more bits to go in there yet, which is one of the reasons I've just left it where it was. Right, I do need to go and get a tub. I know the main lights are flickering in this wind. For my fans there, I even went through that box of fans. Because... I found I had fans in there with no actual connector on to plug it into a motherboard or any other connector or some of them had no wires or the wires were cut so short you couldn't use them and I just stood there looking at them and I thought why the hell did I keep these why did I think it was a good idea to throw those ones in a box so you can guess where those ones went and I actually reduced or made a lot of room in that box I do like to keep fans because I do have friends that sometimes ask me have you got a spare fan and I do use them. They're handy to have because I have had fans, you know, fail on the daily driver here and whatnot. Uh, I didn't throw out any hard drives. 
um, I had a box full of laptop covers, batteries and whatnot. They went, because chances of me using any of those laptop batteries was slim and the chances of them actually being any good was slim as well so I just chucked them, the tub and all, because that was broken so <clears throat> I need a battery, they're not actually that much on eBay can't go buy one I just got up to come back through here thinking this would be done by now but it isn't <laughs> it's halfway done it's actually really really quiet I want to set one of these up in the lounge just for shits and giggles. <laughs> oh, right. I've got a phone there that I want to put on eBay. That LG. I've got a broken HTC phone. I say broken. Yes, it won't hold a SIM card in the slot. The catch is broken. Uh, so, I could put that up spares or repairs. I've got another Samsung phone down there that I could put up spares or repairs. I've got a model railway update to do. Because I've got some new rolling stock. I've got yet another 08 shunter there. This one's newer than my other green one. I know it's newer because this one's got a different base on it and different pickups. And that pickup's been repaired, look. Quite neat repair, but it's been or has it been repaired or has it had a wire so oh no, that's the wire soldered to it. I can just see the green green of the insulation sticking out the bottom. But yeah, that's actually a different base to mine. This feels lighter than my other one as well. I believe it's a Hornby. Memory serves correctly. But it was cheap, it was less than 40 quid, and that was actually cheap for an 08 shunter. The number I have seen sell for 50 plus quid on eBay so that was actually a random purchase as well I was just bored that day and I liked the look of it and I thought why not I'll put a bid on it <laughs> all right let's just take a seat back down in here then and have a little bit more of a chat while that RM is doing whatever it's got to do so one of the reasons I'm not going to put a, any more Lego benches in there and build a city like I wanted is because I may move. I've been seriously thinking of putting in for a house exchange. Or in this case a flat exchange. Several reasons. Number one, my mum, as long as Victory Housing agrees to all, should be moving in the very near future. Uh, she decided to put in for an exchange. I didn't like it when I heard. My stepdad didn't like it. My little brother didn't like it because he lives with them. But once I thought about it, I thought, well, maybe me not liking it is a bit selfish because she's got arthritis in her lower back. And it's, you know, it's not going to get any better. And it's not getting any better. And... She is struggling with the upkeep of a three-bedroomed house and struggling with the stairs and uh, it wouldn't be possible to have a stair lift put on those stairs just because of the shape of the stairs. Too awkward, too expensive. Um, so she's hopefully going to move to a two-bedroomed bungalow out in a little village about four mile from here so not far I could easily cycle ride it in 15 minutes something like that probably 10 on a good day actually I could probably if I go across the fields I could probably do it in 10 minutes and I'm not kidding there is a public footpath that runs right from this town all the way to the village she is hopefully <laughs> moving to in fact it comes out at the bottom of her road so yeah I'm not going to ride that route back because it's all uphill and I don't fancy doing that sort of route in the dark either I'd uh, use the roads but even using the road it's only going to take me 10-15 minutes I'd say about 15 if I dawdle probably about 20 minutes is that computer done yet Nemo? can you go and have a look for me? 
Well, okay. Suit yourself. Um, and that got me thinking because one of the reasons Mum doesn't come up to this flat, other than the fact it was a complete shithole, is those stairs. She struggles with two flights of stairs. Um, and as she is technically my carer, because of my autism and diabetes, um, she can't really get up the stairs. So I'm now going to look into getting an exchange to a bungalow myself. I prefer a bungalow, a one-bedroom bungalow over a one-bedroom house, but I would consider a one-bedroom house. I'm not going to completely rule that out. Um, there is a must, it must have a garden. Its own garden, not a communal garden like what we've got here. I did see a bungalow on Facebook Marketplace advertising for an exchange, but that's got a communal garden, I don't want that. I'd want my own. So I could sit out there, sun my psoriasis in summer, because believe it or not, sunlight does, um, does psoriasis a lot of good. Hence why there's the sunbed treatment. It's not actually a bed, but that's what they call it. You stand up in it, so. Uh, which does work. I've had that treatment once for my dis uh, for my December. Where the hell did that come from? For my psoriasis. The only problem is with that, it comes back with a vengeance, usually. <laughs> and mine did. <laughs> come back worse. Uh, no wonder I'm feeling hungry. It's uh, half past eight now. Nearly an hour of ramblings and videos and things. I'm not trying to cut this down when I get this edited. So has this bloody RM done anything? Oh no, it's another password one. Huh. It's got exactly the same username. Me. I wonder. The keyboard or what it's not liking, but it's crashed again. <laughs> but I know it works, I know it does something, so I can throw on my own operating system on that and uh, get these up and running and find out what RAM it is it's running. I'm going to guess about 2 gigs of RAM on that. Ooh, pardon me. Alright, I don't need those on. I am going to leave the kitchen light on because I want to get something to eat. You comfy over there, names? Good boy. So, on that note, to try and keep this video below an hour, I'm uh, going to end the video here. So, like I said, the next one is going to be a model railway video, unless anything pops up between now and then. Uh, if I win these auctions, it's just a couple of lots of teak LNER coaches and at least one locomotive I've got my eye on because I really do like the look of that one. It's a steam one as well. I didn't think I'd go for the steam as much as I did. I thought I'd go mostly diesel, but I seem to have a bit of a balance with that at the minute, which is good. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I will uh, talk to you all again in the next video. Bye.